if we'd really sat down, Nikki and I, and planned it out and budgeted and thought about it, we, pre we wouldn't have done it. We had no idea of what actually it involved. But you just got to jump in and believe you can do it. Hi, I'm Nikki. And I'm Andrew, and this is the story of the Canterbury Rams and the volunteers who made it happen. So we were a bit sports crazy, so we love, yeah. and, and our kids have played heaps of sports. Um, but we saw with basketball that just the, the way it engages them. They love training, they love playing it. Basketball is, no, it's, it's the fastest growing sport in New Zealand. It's, it, it's going to be the top played sport by high school students within one or two years. Yet the funding for it is non-existent. The big thing about Nikki and Andrew is that they're in it for the right reasons. Um, they're all about growing the sport, providing opportunities for young people and families to be involved. Um, they're not about, you know, their brand or their reputation. It's all about trying to create something for the city, which is a fantastic driver. The Rams that people see on the court is just one small part of it. So, so one objective we've always had is to bring a whole lot more basketball activity and entertainment to Christchurch. We'd love to bring some more Breakers games, more Tall Blacks games. We'd like to bring more US college games to Christchurch. So to bring those events, you've got to underwrite them and there's financial risk every time. But we tend to just jump in and take that gamble. I've loved every minute of it. Friendships I've made in it, I've played all throughout New Zealand. I've been to Australia a couple of times, I've played in the States for four years, and it's just, I don't know, it's gonna take me places that have been, wouldn't have otherwise been possible. For me, Andrew's just been really supportive of me. He's always kind of helped me out with the basketball side and like, made pathways possible for me. But Nikki's super involved, but she's always there after the games, super supportive. Setting up an NBL franchise is a big job. Um, just putting on one single game takes a lot of effort. So building a whole organisation, getting all the players in place and all the other activities you need is just a massive challenge. The person who convinced me uh, initially was uh, Terry Brunel, who um, ran a lot of the underage program for Canterbury Basketball. So I'd be sitting with my, you know, watching my children, uh, etc., and helping out with managing some of the teams and such like. And Terry would be in my ear, <laughs> he'd be going, hey, we need to get the Rams back. We had a family meeting. All our family was on deck. Andrew's mum's huge in our organisation, so she always gets the jobs that no one else wants to do. Caleb was working all the hours under the sun, we did ticketing, we do all of that. We want to really ramp up the mentoring program. Andrew's dad has really been involved in our mentoring program and he has done a huge amount this season, which is great, particularly with local schools around here and one's Bromley. And seeing him help with mentoring, he's an ex-principal and school teacher, so he just sort of gets it. I just think it can make a massive difference in kids' lives. A lot of the best things in the community are done by volunteers, in my view, and basketball is no different. Just because basketball isn't funded, doesn't mean we can't be just as professional and well run as the Crusaders. And that's a big goal because they are outstandingly well run. And that's not winning or losing. We don't have any objectives about winning titles. A real goal is to give young guys a chance to have a full-time professional career. There's so many out there who've done a whole lot more than us. All the volunteers in basketball that drive basketball are the ones that you know, should actually be getting interviewed for things like this. Without them, no, we couldn't have done anything for what we've, we've done here.